Bonjour, mes amis! That's about all the French I know. I am the Mighty Plantain, and this is Boosh. Back with me again? I'm French. Yeah. I Rod can't speak it. Rodrigue is French, too. I can't speak it either. Freaking Canadian French. There's a few, there, there is a few swear words, I know. But yeah, there you that's, go. About it. that's all you need. Yeah. Uh, we, we, are, we are from Maine, which means we are Canadian French, from which are Canucks. We are not. Yeah. Well, I don't actually, know if that's actually a racial slur or not, is it? It could be. Okay. Actually, though, my dad, when he was on, when he was going to a uh, uh, school for uh, work, they sent him down. They sent the company plane for him, mm. and they left out of uh, they left out of Waterville Airport. They had a wine on there. <laughs> they had a bottle of wine that said it was from the Bouchard. Winery, huh. in France. Something to look into. So, that would be something to look into. Maybe you get some free wine. He he got the bottle, but I don't know. Maybe you're entitled to. to to some land out. He there. got the bottle afterwards, and he yeah. and uh, yeah, he uh, he got the bottle afterwards. I think he gave it to one of his uh, one of his uh, siblings. Fascinating. So, but there is a Bouchard winery <laughs> out in France. So. Yeah. Who knows? Well, this one. Is from Dragonfly Winery right here in Stetson, Maine. Yep. Lovely Just outside place. of Bangor. Yep. Bangor. It's a, it's a very easy trip for anybody in Kennebec County, and I recommend that you check them out. Get some good wines. Uh, what we have here is Pepe's Surprise. I know, it says Pear Pear, for those yeah, of you not versed, but uh, yeah, those of us Canadian French of descent. Uh, Pepe. We have Pepe's. I had a Pepe. I had several Pepe's. Yep. They've all passed now, but I had them. Yep. Mine too. All right. So I was going to say, does the Bouchard clan have Pepe's? I would assume so. Yeah. Yep. We did. But they have long since passed too. Yeah. Unfortunately. But yeah. Yeah, such is the way of all things. That's right. Like all the grapes and fruit that uh, passed in order to create this delicious, delicious wine we're about to try. Oh, that one has some gas in there. Yeah, a little bit of a vacuum. That one, uh, that one popped a little bit more than their previous ones have. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this out. Make sure you're hitting us up down below with a like and a share. And if you really like these videos, make sure to subscribe. That way you'll get a notification every time a new one is posted. Hopefully you're getting some value out of these. They're taking the mystery out of uh, your local wine purchases. Um, and just like his, just like the business card says, <laughs> anonymous jackassery. Yes, there is some other assorted jackassery on this YouTube <laughs> channel, but uh, but mainly it's beer, liquor, and wine. That's right. So, uh, oops. A bit what did they actually there. say? This was supposed to be raspberry, right? Raspberry, I believe. And this is a dessert wine, so this is really something you would serve with. With dessert. With the, a dessert. Or the dessert course, because you don't necessarily have to eat for dessert. Right. Um, it's not really sticking to the glass very much. That's running right down pretty quick. Yeah, a little bit. It's extremely transparent. It's kind of sticking a little bit. The legs look pretty good, but... Yeah. It's forming droplets. Yeah. Droplets and curtains. More than anything else. Curtains. Curtains. <laughs> when was the last time yeah, you got a good look at a pair of beef curtains? It doesn't look that bad, actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. Really, the color is... Yeah, what would you say the color is? Black? Yeah. No, not really black. Not really burgundy or... Um, it's almost a maroon. It's very, very... A maroon. Maroon. <laughs> No, that's both of us. <laughs> At least when it comes to wine. Morons. Yes, folks. You, as, as I've said before, if you tuned in for a sophisticated wine review, you are <laughs> sorely disappointed. Yeah. We are not big wine drinkers, but we know what we like. Um, and so far, we've found some decent ones. Yes. Uh, but still, we won't. We won't really. We won't really go and, and say, well, well, I want a wine tonight. No, it's, yeah, it's no. more. I want Sam Adams or. Uh, some dogfish head or something. Exactly. A nice, decent beer, some liquor. 
but people have insisted on wine reviews, so we will do what yeah. we can, and hopefully yeah, you're enjoying them. Um, but yeah, I do see a bit of more of a maroon, almost a purplish maroon. I hesitate yep. to use the word blood-colored, but... Yeah, it's really what it is. A bit of an, uh, almost. Getting an impression of that. It's not unpleasant. No, it's not, not really that much of a smell, though, neither. I can, you can smell the, you can smell the raspberry a little bit. You can smell the alcohol. I mean, raspberry, that's almost a brandy. Almost. There's a yeah, you're right. That's almost a smell. Though, that's that. almost a brandy. Mmm. That is actually almost a brandy smell. Yeah. I'm trying to remember if this is one of the ones because they do have some wines that they're blending with uh, brandies. I, I'm also maybe thinking of that roughshod that we had from Blacksmiths. They uh, blended that with a brandy. But this is very but this reminiscent one, of that. Right. This one's really not. That it is not really very descriptive as to what. No, but if you do visit their uh, tasting room, they'll give you much yeah. better, much better description than what you'll find on the label. Right. <coughs> but, and uh, if there is a website, they'll probably describe it too. Exactly. More. There is definitely a website. Yeah, I mean, there is a bit of a liquory smell to that. Jim Leahy would uh, would be enticed. <laughs> There's a shit storm coming. Mm. There's the winds of shit. <laughs> Some of you will get that reference. For those that don't, check out Trailer Park Boys. On Netflix. Yeah. We're gonna Only get, on Netflix. We're going to get a little boozed up and then we're going to watch some. No, we're not getting boozed up, but. Well, I am. Well, you can. I got work to do. That licorice taste is coming right through. There is something distinctly licorice about this. There is. But it's kind of... It's weird the way it tastes. Mm. It It's not... You don't taste raspberry. No. There is a little bit, a, a hint of it, but... I think most of what I'm getting from the raspberry is like that bitterness. The bitterness, a bit of sourness. But mostly I'm getting a, a, an impression of brandy. It really, it is. And this is actually an easy drinking wine, too. I think it might be because we're more used to liquor than we are to wine. Right. That it's more familiar. Right. Which is making it easier to drink. And don't get me wrong. And this one actually has a taste. It's almost... I wouldn't say that it's more of a liquor or a brandy. Mm. It's almost... It's almost a... Schnoppish to me. Especially in the aftertaste. I can see that. But uh, more like a schnapp that's not that's not very high in alcohol content. Mm -hmm. That's that's the thing that that, that it's it seems to me. Right. It's very smooth. Um, it, you could almost you could almost if there was bubbles in it, it would taste almost like a almost like a beer, but not really? quite. Doesn't have that. It doesn't have that brewed flavor. I'm not quite getting the same impression, but I, I do understand what it's, you're getting It's at. not, it, it I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. For me, it's more of that brandy flavor. I mean, maybe reminiscent of a, See, I've a little never bit really, of schnapps on the back end. I've never really tried a brandy before, mm. but I've never, but I, I've, I've seen it and I've, I've smelled brandy that we've mm -hmm. had at home, but yeah. It's not. The only kind of brandy I have is a coffee brandy. So, <laughs> God, no comment on the coffee brandy. <laughs> that was a bad night. But uh, no, I, I was gonna say I've never been disappointed by anything I've no, had from I, Dragonfly, and, thing, and this is still right up there. It's just hard to describe. Yeah, I'm not saying it's unpleasant at all. It right, it's pleasant. I, it's pleasing to the palate. I am enjoying it. But Excellent. it's different. It's not quite what I'd expect from a wine. You remember at the brew fest, mm -hmm. the maple, what was maple that? cider? The maple cider that Rickers. we tried. Rickers. Rickers. That maple. The aftertaste is kind of like that flavor of that. Mm. It's, not it's quite a little as more. Smooth. 
Right, not quite as smooth as that was. And it lingers longer. And it lingers longer, that's right. But, but I, it has kind of, I want to say, not the actual taste of the maple, but it's more the aftertaste of the alcohol part of it. Yeah. That's not bad. I mean, I'm enjoying it. I, I am too, actually. It's pretty good. Honestly, I, th I think I'm going to put this at a four and a half out of five. I'm not quite ready to say it's blowing me away or just making me go, ooh, I want to drink that all day long. But I think the fact that it's reminiscent of a liquor yep. is really, really getting my attention. And it's so smooth. It's actually quite good. Four and a half out of five for me. I'm gonna put it as a four for me. A four? It's actually not bad. Mm -hmm. I I could drink. I could sit here and drink the whole bottle if I wanted to. Oh yeah. Very. I'll easy. sit here and drink the whole bottle, asshole. <laughs> Watch this clang. Bring another <laughs> one. <laughs> so that is. Some of you will know that too. Yeah. Especially if you watch, if you like Dennis, Dennis Leary. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw a user poll up here. Go ahead and rate this wine one to five if you've had it yourself. Um, either way, you could hit me up down in the comments or the email link down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with our assessment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Um, until next time, folks. Cheers. Keep drinking. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Mm -hmm. Very pleasant. Very enjoyable. Thanks for having me. Well, oh, thanks for the beer, man. So, highly recommended by Extreme Beer Fest this weekend. We'll be able to get a hold of, I believe it's the American.